Two businesses side by side, but on opposite sides of the abortion debate. Tonight, RTV6's Lauren Casey is taking us to Bloomington and introducing us to both and what each offers. One neighbor, a pro-choice health care provider, the other a pro-life support system. Both different, serving up more options to women seeking care in Bloomington. The Women's Care Center being next door um, doesn't do anything about our care. Betsy Astrup is an advocate and intern for Planned Parenthood based in Bloomington. She tells us she's used to seeing protesters or pro-life advocates outside and that their mission hasn't changed since the new neighbor moved in next door. Um, we're still going to offer uh, high quality of care. We do do abortion services. We do pregnancy tests, um, wellness exams, STD screenings. Right next door, the openly pro-life women's care center. It opened its doors a little over a month ago and it's one of 26 centers in eight states funded largely by local donors. Our vision is that every woman feels empowered, that she feels that she has both the opportunity and the option to choose life. Lynn Birch with Planned Parenthood tells me that she doesn't want people to confuse the two. I would recommend Planned Parenthood because we're an actual health care provider, whereas I think that's an important distinction. That is true. The Women's Care Center does not provide the same medical services as Planned Parenthood. Instead, they provide a different, more holistic type of service to pregnant women and families. Pregnancy testing, um, ultrasound, parenting class, classes, on conditionally loving, positive counseling. This is the Crib Club here at the Women's Care Center in Bloomington. Now what this is, is they tell me they want to support mothers and fathers long after that pregnancy, well into when that child goes to school. So this is where they can buy baby items, clothes, a number of things they need, and they don't use money or dollars to buy these items. They use coupons that they get by attending parenting classes right here at the Women's Care Center. Both organizations tell me they can't control what happens next door. All they can control is what What's happening inside their own doors and inside they will both continue to serve the people of Bloomington and our supporters um, faith-based and otherwise want us in that community Bloomington has been a really incredible um, community that invited us in and continues to support Lauren Casey RTV 6 the Women's Care Center tells us it has been very busy in its first month in Bloomington right now it's expecting almost 30 babies to arrive very soon